All right, here we go. Hi. So simplifying ratios. Uh, the good news is, if you know how to simplify fractions, it's the same thing. The other good news is, if you don't know how to simplify fractions, it's pretty easy, and I'll show you. So everybody's going to be all good here. So the steps are write out the factors of each number in the ratio, then find their greatest common factor, and I'll remind you what that means, and then divide both numbers in the ratio by their greatest common factor. And that's it. So Again, a ratio is just a comparison between two numbers. So, for example, 6 to 12, or if written out in English, the ratio of 32 geese to 4 yaks. Um, and we, it's, it's nice to simplify ratios just to make, make the math easier if you're having to do calculations with ratios. If I've got a ratio of, of 100 to 10,000, um, instead of writing a lot of zeros, I can simplify that down and make it easier to work with. So, um, let's get going with these two examples. So, let's find the factors of each number in the ratio here. So, the factors of 6 are the numbers that you can multiply together to get 6. So, 1 times 6 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. And those are the factors of 6. So let's find the factors of 12. So 1 and 12. Multiply those together, you get 12. Uh, 6 times 2 is 12. And 3 times 4 is 12. So those are all the factors of 12. Now let's find the factor that they have in common. That's the biggest one that they have in common. So, for example, they both have 1 as a factor. But that's not the largest factor. That's not the greatest common factor. What about 2? Well, yeah, they, they both have 2 in common, but they have a bigger factor. That's 3. They share 3 in common. Is there anything that's bigger than that? Let's see. 6? Yep, I've got 6 as a factor of 6 and 6 as a factor of 12. And that's the biggest common factor. So, last step, we divide both numbers in the ratio by this greatest common factor. So, 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So, the ratio of 6 to 12 actually simp simplifies to 1 to 2. Alright, let's do another one. It's the ratio of 32 geese to 4 yaks. So, step 1, I would say, or let's say step 0, because I already have a step 1 here, is write it out in mathematical notation. So uh, we could do 32 and a little colon, so it's, which says it's a ratio of 32 to 4. You could also write it as a fraction if you want. 32 over 4. Either way. Um, actually, let's do it this way, because I'll, I'll show you something, just a little r reminder of something. Okay, so it's, let's find th their factors. So the factors of 32 are 1 and 32. That's a 3. Uh, that looks like a 72. That is, 1 times 72 is not 32. Good. All right. So, th yeah, 1 and 32. Um, 16 and 2. Make 32. 8 times 4 is 32. I think those are all the factors of 32. So let's find the factors of 4. We've got 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4. And y if you don't, I mean, you don't have to write that other 2. 2 is a factor of 2. Or 2 is a factor of 4, I mean. So, what are, what's the greatest common factor? So it's, it's not 1, of course. What about 2? They do share 2 in common, but we can, we can go bigger. What about 4? Uh, 4 is a factor of 4, and 4 is also a factor of 32. And that's as big as we can get over on the factors of 4. So we're not going to find any anything bigger that they share in common. So now we divide both numbers in the ratio by 4. Let's do that up here. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. And 4 divided by 4 is one. So the ratio of 32 geese to 4 yaks can be simplified to 
eight geese. Oh, that's a, yeah, okay. Can't read that. I can't read that. Nobody can read that. Okay, eight geese to one yak. Now, if you're thinking in terms of fractions, you'd probably say, oh, well, eight, eight over one is just, it's just eight. But remember that the purpose of a ratio is to compare two numbers. So if you just, uh, if you just write eight, you're no longer comparing the number of geese to the number of yaks. So don't do that. Just leave it as eight over one or in this notation, eight to one.